Genesis 49 and 14. I'm going to show you how you get it, bro. The book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19. God, a truth shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. So we say, God, a truth shall overcome him. What, what's in your people overcome? Then they take your land and gave you reservations and killed off most of your people. Killed off all the buffaloes. Most of the buffaloes, you still got, you know, you can see some somewhere. But didn't that happen to your people? They raped my people. Right. Ray Rob, read that again, bro. Dad, a truth shall overcome him. A truth shall overcome your people. You saying it right there, they raped, robbed, murdered, you took your land? And they raped my the animals, livestock. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh hey, hey. Give me, matter of fact, give me that Deuteronomy. Give me that Deuteronomy. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse 20. And, and of God he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth God. He dwelleth as a lion, and turneth the heart with the crown of the head. Uh-huh. You forgive him? Yes. Okay, so we, I forgive him. What Why you forgive him? Done? Done? It's okay. So does God hate? God is love. So does God hate? God has both. I'm asking you a question, bro. Does yeah, God he hate? Does hate? He does hate. So you said he's all love, though. So let me show you something. He does. So, uh, he hates. Revelation 13, God, bro. Let me show you something, okay? But, but you know what? Vengeance has to be repaid, bro. Vengeance has to be repaid. Revelation 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Alright, check this out. Alright, I understand. Your people went, our people went through a lot of stuff. And some of our people are now like, oh, well, let's just move past it. Let's just move past it. The so-called white man ain't moving past it. He's still beating you down to this day. Look at what's going on at the Dakota Pipeline. Go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. No, listen, listen. I want you to understand. We're going to learn to fight with this Bible, right? That's how we're going to come back to uh, our, our rulership and getting our lands back and getting our understanding back. It's by keeping God's laws. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Lenny, sir. Lenny, Lenny, all right? We have to understand exactly what's going on right now. And I don't want you to be ashamed uh, of what the Most High is going to do, because the Most High is going to give you a recompense for what happened to our people. And I say our people because it's our people. Native Americans are, aren't just your people, they're my people too. Everybody out. on this side right. is my people. Bring it and out. You're a part of that. Right? For too long we've been divided not knowing who we really are. So we, we're going to come back to God's laws. We're going to make sure that our, our kids know how to keep God's laws. Right? Check this out. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. I don't want you to ever be ashamed of who you are. I don't want you to ever be ashamed of the wicked prince that God is going to put on these so-called heathens. You know? 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. See, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Them that trouble you. Didn't they trouble you? Find that in Psalms 50 with um, his word, the sweetest butter. Right? This is exactly what happened to your people. It's all written in the Bible. They said, come, let's make a tumult so that the name of Israel be no more. I'm going to show you how you got over here too. Read. This is the book of Psalms chapter 55 and verse uh, 21. The words of his mouth was smoother than butter. It's talking about the so-called white man in this Bible. They said his words were smooth as butter because when they came over, they said, hey, help us out. We'll take care of you. Whatever, whatever. Read. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. War was in his heart. You know that. Smallpox blankets wiped out over 90 million Native Americans. Right? And one fell swoop with just blankets. Right? So he, war was in his heart. He was trying to take over the land from the beginning. Read. His wives were softer than oil. Yet were they drawing swords. Yet were they drawing swords. That's what they did to our people. Now I'm going to further prove to you because I want you to understand without a shadow of a doubt that you're an Israelite. Give me that in 2nd Ezra 15. Right? We're going to show you how you got, how your people got to this side of the earth. How the so-called Native American Indians got over here. Right? Because you were already over here. It, it wasn't like with my uh, so-called African Americans, how they were brought over on slave ships and things like that. Right? It was a little different. 
So I'm going to explain to you in the Bible how your people got here. Right? Read. Second Ezra 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes. Those are the ten tribes. So when we go back to Jerusalem, I want you to take this out. When we were over in Jerusalem, the southern tribes of Jerusalem were Benja or Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? That's why the term Judah or Jews come from. Right? Because we were broken up in the time of after Solomon. Right? After King Solomon, the uh, tribes broke up. It was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi as the southern kingdom, and then the rest of the tribes in the northern kingdom. Read. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. Right? So this is talking about a time when we were going to be captive. Read. Who? Salmaneser, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. Right? Keep reading. That's not talking about America yet. It's just talking about we went into another land in captivity, which, uh, Syria, which is uh, where we happen all the time. Right? It happened to us all the time because we broke God's laws. We would break God's laws, the most I would come and get us out. We would break God's laws, the most I would come and get us out. So this is just another one of those times. But here's the difference, read. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would lead the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind grow. So they took a counsel among themselves and they said, hey, we don't want to go into this country. We don't want to go in and be in bondage. We want to go somewhere where nobody's ever been before. Right? It's going to get more information on this. Read. Verse 42. That they might there keep the statutes which they never kept in their own land. So it says that they there might keep the commandments, the statutes, which they never kept in their own land. So they whole point of having the council was saying, let's not go into captivity. Let's go somewhere where we can uh, keep God's laws. Because we don't want to not keep God's laws. We want to keep God's laws. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Read. Verse 43. And they entered into you into your fighties by the narrow passages. Somebody give me a, one of those map signs. Uh, it's a map up there somewhere. I want to I want you to show I want to show you this because it's very important. Alright? I'm gonna tie it, I'm gonna tie it here in a second. Give me one second. So we gotta understand we were uh look it upside down. We were around this area. Uh, where's the Euphrates? It's, it's around this area, right? So instead of going this way, right? Because th this is the way we were going to go. It took us a long time. Read. <clears throat> Verse 44. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the blood till they were passed over. Right? So, read. For through that country there was a great way to go. Namely, of the year and a half. And the same region is called Osra. And the same region is called Osra. So what we know as America is actually Osra in the Bible, right? Your people took counsel, the, the ten tribes took counsel to go to another land so they could keep God's laws. I'm going to show you how they kept God's laws. Check this out. Watch the foot. This is a normal... Uh, dressing of Indians, so-called Indians, right? You wear headdresses, you wear fringes on your clothes, right? You have borders of blue on your clothes with different designs, right? That's all part of the Bible. Did you know that? That whole, this whole attire is part of the Bible. The fringes with the border of blue, right? That's all part of the Bible. Go to Numbers 15, 38. Okay. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make the fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Right? So this is what we got to understand about this. That you are a child of Israel. You do have to come back to keeping God's laws. It's just as important for you as it is for me. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Um, uh, 28 and... I think it's like 30 about colonizing. About uh you should uh they should take your axe, ox. Right? Find that for me. Because the, it, it didn't happen to you the way it happened to me. Well, some of your people did go to slavery. Some of your people were taken on ships where they were uh carried over to uh Spain and England and those different countries and brought back. Like Squanto. You know about Squanto, right? Right? He was taken over to be a slave. They try to say he went over there and visited. But we know better, right? You know better than that, right? Read. 
their own captivity. Deuteronomy 28, 31. Thine hearts shall be slain before thine eyes. Because you talked about that. You talked about uh, how your herds and things were taken away. Your uh, buffalo were taken away uh, from your people. Read. Thine hearts shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat the earth. Thine eyes shall be violently taken away from before thy face. Right? So all these things happen to our people. You can go in history, in your history, and you know that these things happen to your people. Now, what happened after that? So after the lands was taken, after your ass was, uh, your herds were taken, after all these things were taken away from us, what did we start to do? We started to go into a stupor. That's why when you go to most Native American lands, what's the number one problem? What's the number one problem? You see it out here, right? But what's the number one problem? Alcoholism. All of it. All of it, right? Single parent homes, alcoholism, drug abuse, all those things. They affect your community just like they affect mine. But yet they don't show it. They don't show it on TV, right? You don't see it on TV as much as you see ours on TV, but it's happening to your people just as much. You, I read an article uh, that... The that, people's language. Yeah. All right. But he said you would be blind. Give me that Deuteronomy 28. They show uh, go at noonday. Read. Deuteronomy 28, 29. And thou shalt group at noonday. That shall group at noonday. As the blind group in the darkness. So as the blind group in the darkness. A blind man can't see all of them anyway. But if you put him in darkness, he really ain't going nowhere. Right? So just reaching for something, just trying to find something. That's the way our people are right now. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we just groping. That's right. Trying to find our way. That's why we go to Christianity. That's why we go to uh, Muslim. That's why we go to Buddhist. That's why we don't have anything of our own because we always reach for other people to help us. We try to get welfare for people to help us. Uh, we wanted to have uh, lands for for. for uh, for them to try to help us, right? But none of that is going to help us. The only thing that's going to help us is coming back to God's laws. Bring right? it out. So that's what we got to understand. You got to understand first, you got to change yourself. Go to uh, Romans chapter 10. I'm going to show you how you how you change yourself. Check this out. So you job hunting, you're trying to change your life, right? I am. Right? But this is, this is what we're going to do. Go to 1 Kings 8, 46. Because this is the important thing. I, I understand you trying to change, and I want you to. Now, so but I'm, I'm going to help I, you. I hate to interrupt. All right, let me give you this one. Let me give you this one. I, this is your bus right here? No, I'm going to cross the street. Okay, check this out real quick, real quick. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Because we sin against the most high God. That's why conditions, read. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives but to the land of the enemy far or near. So we are in the land of our enemy right now. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. He said if we shall bethink ourselves what, is, what does it mean to bethink? It means to remember. You gotta remember who you are. You gotta remember that you are an Israelite from the mighty tribe of Gad. That's right. Do you know how mighty your tribe was? Do you know the great stories that is in this Bible that you can read in uh, Judges and Joshua and 1 Samuel about your people? Do you know the importance of your people and what they mean to us? We are together. We are brothers and sisters in this. We have to continue to fight together. But the only way we're going to fight together is that we keep in the commandments together. Read. If they sit, I'm sorry, verse, verse 7. If they shall bethink themselves in the land where they were carry captives and repent we have to repent. We have to come back to God's laws. One of God's laws is that you got to have a beard on your face. One of God's laws is that you got to keep uh, fringes on your clothes. Today is the Sabbath. We're not supposed to be buying, selling, working, or cooking. We're supposed to be reverencing the Most High God. You're supposed to be congregating. We got to see over on the Kansas side. You're supposed to be coming to visit us. You're supposed to be out here in purple and gold with us. Screaming to our people to repent. To come back to God's laws. Do you understand? Do you got a do you got a flyer? Do you got a flyer? You need to check that flyer out. Because if you're trying to change your life, this is where it starts. It starts by presenting your body as a living sacrifice to the most high God. That's all that's gonna change. Your, your brother beat you this job. And I already seen him six months ago. He was the only one here going up You believe? Okay, go to 
Psalms 119, 59. But real quick, as you're going away, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you can hear me as you're going away. I want you to hear this scripture. This is very important because you said that a, a month ago, you said? No, six, six months ago, you... Oh, over. hold on, hold on. Six, Another man came over here. Oh, exactly. Six months ago, you heard us speaking. Or you heard of one of our brothers speaking. And he told you that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Gad. Psalms 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways, said I thought on my ways, and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. He said, I turned my feet to thy testimonies, read. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. He said, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So six months ago, if you heard this, we got to start seeing that change, right? We want to start seeing that change. We want to see that you is on fire to do this thing. We want to see that you're on fire to come back to God's laws. That, hey, I got to find where this school at. I got to find where I can get fringes at. I got to I gotta come make back, sure I got a big beard on my uh, chin. Right? We always on this area. E every Sabbath we here. Right? We always here. So you can always come back and talk to us. Right? It's time for our blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to wake up. That's what we out here for. We are Israel united in Christ, teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. Yes. You may not know who you are according to the Bible. You might not care who you are to the Bible, but it's deeply important to the things that's going on. Everybody saw that movie Black Panther and got hyped. Oh, man, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. But you've been having that forever. Right. The most hard right. danger to have a Wakanda. Right? Not some fictional place. He ordained you to have Jerusalem, your homeland. But you don't care about that. You care more about a movie than understanding the truth. We have to start waking up. We have to stop making excuses for what's going on in our community. Men have to stand up and be men. And the only way you're going to do that is by keeping God lost. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.